I love the bunnies video when talk about well special I love the bunnies video when talk about well how actually the quest free persist locations of virtual content in the real world. How we can actually remember, for example, if you put a virtual content, let's say uh, an anime character near your uh, door, entrance to the house, how it remembers the exact location. And when, of course, you get back and uh, use your headset again, or maybe another user comes and use the headset, how we can actually see that exact location of the virtual content exactly where you placed it. And this is true when you're using, for example, a multiplayer game, maybe a board game that you play together in mixed reality, where your friend, for example, has uses the Quest VR headset, and you need to see the board exactly at the same place uh, when you put it on the table. So first of all, let's see what Mark Zuckerberg uh, mentioned about this feature on the Meta Connect 2023. We're just scratching the surface of, of what's going to be possible when you can drop virtual objects into your physical space. And next year, uh, we're launching something that we call Augments, which are basically persistent, spatially anchored digital objects that you can interact with. So, you know, you can put a frame on your wall with photos and videos from Facebook and Instagram. Um, you can put a digital portal next to your physical workout gear, so every time you walk by it, you can easily jump into a supernatural workout. Now, I don't know about you, but I already imagine myself lying on my bed and letting mixed reality just create a beautiful environment, calming environment around me. I might actually lying on the bed or on the sofa. <sighs> you can imagine that. All right. So how do those uh, special anchors work exactly? Uh, well, they work by creating a unique identifier for a specific point in the real world. Uh, this identifier is based on combination of factors such as the features of the environment, the position and orientation of the device, time of the day, etc. Uh, to create special anchor, an app will typically scan the environment using the device camera and identify unique features. Once the features have been identified, the app will create a 3D point cloud of the environment. This point cloud is used to generate unique identifier for that particular anchor. Uh, the Anchor Identifier is then stored on the device and you can also save in the cloud, so you can actually share it with different sessions with other users uh, and can be used to place virtual object at the same location at a later time or relatively to that location. When the user wants to place the virtual object at the Anchor location, the app will scan the environment again and compare the new point cloud to the stored one, if the two points cloud match, the app will know that the device is at the same location as the anchor and can place the virtual object at that location. So for example, if you are playing a shared uh, board game, for example, on the table, uh, we can actually, uh, this uh, uh, unique identifier of that point cloud can be shared with another user. So when the user points the, their request uh, device to that particular location, the board will appear because that object of the game is actually tied to that specific place or relatively to that uh, special anchor. And special anchors can persist over time because they are not tied to a specific device or user. The anchor, is, uh, anchor identifier is unique uh, to the point in the real world, not the device or user. This means that any device can use the anchor identifier to place a virtual object at the same location, even if the device has never been to that location before. Now, in addition, spatial anchors can persist even if the environment changes slightly. For example, if a piece of furniture is moved, the spatial anchor will still be valid. This is because the anchor identifier is based on the features in the environment, not the specific object in the environment. Special anchors are powerful tools that can be used to create immersive and interactive experiences. They can be used to place virtual objects in real-world environments, develop multiplayer games, and more. Now, the thing is that they mention something regarding Rift. They say create a special anchor within the three meters of the object you want to anchor. Otherwise, your pose will be incorrect due to Rift. Uh, from what I've researched, again, uh, special anchor drift is a kind of phenomenon that occurs when the position of special anchor becomes less accurate over time. Uh, this can happen for a variety of reasons, such as sensor noise, the sensor in the device, such as the camera and gyroscope can introduce noise 
into the data that is used to track the position of the device and this noise can accumulate over time and cause a special anchor to drift or environmental changes, changes in the environment such as moving objects or changes in lighting can also cause special anchor drift. Uh, device movement, if the device moves too far away from the spatial anchor, it can become difficult to track the position of the device accurately, uh, which can also lead to spatial anchor drift. But they mentioned there that there is, even though, again, I quote, the location of the spatial anchor remains the same, the further the user moves away from the spatial anchor, the greater the drift of the object attached to the spatial anchor will seem to the user. So basically, you might see, for example, a multi user, multi session. Um, apps that were actually the it's it it probably be recommended to design it for developers so the content will stay within the three meters so the user won't actually get further away from this probably going to be some technology is going to improve upon that when we're going to go outdoors you know at a larger scale and we want to position things uh in the readable space and share them with others with greater degree of accuracy so basically those augments will be kind of uh, little applications uh, to serve different type of uh, usable virtual content that you can actually place uh, in those anchors in specific locations. And they will continue to persist there. As you can see, like the image on the wall, right? If you're going to come back and you're going to wear your headset, it's still going to be at that particular place. Now, what I mentioned is that because it's a unique ID of the exact position, this can be shared with other users. For example, if you share this particular image uh, on the wall, another friend that comes, which uh, you shared it with, can actually see the same type of uh, image there on the wall because it's actually going to share the location. And if you share the content, the user will be able to see it at that exact location. So this is the realization of Air Cloud, basically uh, the ability to position uh, different virtual content in great degree of accuracy in the real world so they can actually stay there and uh, you know if you come back to a second session or if you want to share it with multiple users they're still going to be there at the exact same location and what a meta will introduce is kind of features that you can actually place in a particular location that you defined in the real world space of course, we're going to see some other things, customized ones and other things that developers will develop as well. But this is a really cool feature, uh, you know, just wearing the headset and, you know, if you play something, let's say if I'm going to place a, a big uh, screen so I can watch movies or play Xbox Cloud games, it's going to be, for example, on the table or in the living room, it's going to stay there. So when I come back, it's still going to stay, stay there like it was actually physically there, uh, you know, physical object. But again, it's just going to be virtual. So this is information kind of uh, uh, dig so far, very interesting and exciting. And again, I just want to get more into it because I really love the technology. I can't wait to try it myself. Uh, of course, I'm going to share more on my channel. So if you know, want to know more, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.